So, if you tune into this channel pretty regularly, you may know that there's a couple combos or links uh, in with Chip that I drop a lot. And I've just been kind of, uh, just been kind of trying to work on. Like, whenever I go into training mode, I either have like general stuff that I'm like this, which I apparently can't do. Um, I, either there's something specific that I'm looking for, right, and I'm kind of in lab mode, or I'm just drilling stuff that I know I drop in matches. And this combo right here is one of them. I'm just not that good at landing it. Especially, ugh, from the two-player side. I fuck it up a lot. Um, I fuck up the jump install, and then I fuck up the combo into knives. I think I just fucked up the jump install. Yep. Um, but I realize that, like, I guess the, the reason I'm talking about this is mostly because any fighting game player will tell you that training mode is, is useful and you should probably spend more time in it, right? But what you do there, like, people talk less about. There's a lot of, a lot of training mode stuff around, like, labbing specific setups or answers to specific setups, um, which I don't do a lot of. I just don't, I don't prioritize it unless there's a specific question that I came across that I'm trying to answer. Um, but what I have been trying to focus on is taking note of when I drop shit, like in tournament, um, and just adding it to the list of, like, things that I need to fix, right? You can think of it as, like, problem spots in my execution. And it's like... One of the neat things about about uh, being specific and how you try and level up your execution or your setup game or whatever is that it causes you to actually dig deeper into this game and figure out why it is you're dropping certain things, right? Like, for example, uh, it took me about 10 or 15 minutes of practicing that, that knives combo on the two-player side to start generating some hypotheses around uh, why I was dropping it. and. Near as I can tell, the reason that I was dropping it was um, in between... So the thing I usually miss is the knife super at the end. And there were two reasons that I was dropping it on the two-player side, not the one-player side. One was, when I was doing it on the two-player side, I didn't realize this until I actually like paid attention, but I wasn't letting go of the stick after that second jump cancel, right? So Chip has the first jump, then the second jump, then the... Uh, and it's in the third jump that he does the knife super, right? But I wasn't going to neutral, and I suspect that that there's something about how this game reads supers, and and how it reads the input buffer after going to neutral, um, that basically made it so it was harder for the game to read my super input because I was already holding a direction. The, and then the second reason was I wasn't that precise about when I was pushing the button, right? And so I think what my, what the way it worked was basically. Uh, the way I was doing the input made it harder for the input reader to recognize what I was trying to do as a super, right? And the, it was those two specific things, right? One, one was not holding the, or not letting the stick go to neutral, and the other was just not pushing the button fast enough, right? So you start working on those things, and it's not, it's not this like, oh, this, you know, if I can't, if I can't do this combo 10 times, then I, I'll, I'll, I'll do this other combo 20 times, right? Like, it's not some Rock Lee shit. There's a reason why I'm dropping the combo, and I need to figure that out, and I need to be conscious about it. And that's the kind of thing which, like, if you don't think about, if you don't, if you aren't using trading mode to to ask yourself, like, hey, why am I dropping this, right? What am I getting wrong? Then going to training mode feels like a fucking drag. It just feels like, like, you know, like, oh, how many push-ups do I have to do before I get these sweet-ass arms, right? And kind of don't know, right? But if you treat it as a troubleshooting exercise, where you actually look at the, in at the input reader and you pay attention to what your body is doing, um, then it can be super rewarding to actually work some of these kinks out, right? Whenever you suck, it's for a reason. So you figure out what that reason is, and then you can stop sucking. All right, I believe we can officially consider these folks no-shows. Um, so actually, I'm going to hang out in training mode for a little bit, and then we'll open it up for uh, some net play. So the first thing I was working on was that knife combo, which I just hit, like, more times than I normally... Uh, than I, than I normally do in like a training session. I feel pretty confident in my uh, in my answer to that, right? And if I keep dropping it, then I'll have to find other ways to level up my execution there. The other thing that I've been messing up a lot is this right here. 
So there's a couple hits that go into fire punch, that go into up kick, and then that's what happens, right? I do the up kick, and if I do it right, I get jump dust and alpha blade. If I do it wrong, well, I did it right there, sweet. If I do it wrong, I basically miss the jump dust input, and uh, I just get the alpha blade, but that doesn't combo. Now, the fun thing about that is if they tech backwards, sometimes that alpha blade will actually catch them in a cross up, and so I'll get a dumbass reset, but I don't want that reset. What I want is my confirm, and I keep fucking it up. And once again, there are kind of two things that I'm missing here, right? Or two, thing, two things that I'm looking for and trying to step up. One is paying attention to when I get out of Shinkiro. This combo is a little weird for Guilty Gear combos because it's a link, right? I'm not canceling out of that. Chip just leaves, leaves it. Usually it's like a little bit when he starts dropping, right? So you see he kind of moves in an arc. And it's a little bit after he starts dropping that he can do the jump dust, right? So the problem is, if I, if I hit that combo from out here, it's, it's going to look like he's in a different place when he's ready to do the jump dust than when I do it here. Um, due to the way that like heights and, and uh, velocities kind of compress when you're in the corner, right? And so the other thing is that like, the height of the opponent changes depending on their weight class because uh, this game has like character specific weights, right? So even though the timing might be same if I do this to Soul or Milia or Potemkin, uh, their visual presence on screen is gonna be different. And so if I use that as the cue, right? If I'm, res if I'm pressing a button because I'm responding to where Chip is on screen, then I'm actually gonna be super confused and misled when I do this combo in the corner against characters of different weights. Um, so what I needed to do was actually just get used to the timing itself. Treat it as a link. Right? So here, I'm not getting a combo because it doesn't combo when it's on the ground. But all I'm doing is just getting used to the timing between these two hits without looking at, at Chip's uh, screen position or Soul's screen position. Right? I'm actually not even looking at their chunk of the screen at all. Right? You can add the, the Alpha Blade to it, right? But I'm basically trying to filter out information that's actually misleading so I can hit that link better. Because being able to hit the link is not the problem, right? I just need to make sure that I'm paying attention to the right thing. And sometimes that thing is going to be where they are on screen, right? That's going to tell me, hey, can I get this other hit in? Is it time to do this? Is it time to press this button? But sometimes I need to pay attention to other feedback that's actually more useful, right? Which is weird because a lot of times in Guilty Gear, if you think about it, you use their screen position to figure out when you can press a button. Right, but because of the way this move works and the way the, t the the way that velocities work in the corner, it gets a little bit more complicated. And so I need to filter some of that information out. Fun times in training.